Reza? No way! Brew, I didn't know he had you. Fucking Reza! From Lakeside! We've got so many OGs in the fucking house yes, tonight. But guys, we've got to it's pour one out for the homies, yeah? All you Oaks know about pour one out for the homies, ne? Someone passed away this week. Someone did pass yes, away. Yes, and I knew him a long, long time. And like, it, it's funny how he ended up back in weed. I, I, I don't equate him to weed. I equate him to... A different laugh. <laughs> other stuff on the yeah. food chain. A whole other From world. long ago. Yeah. Yeah, but but I believe he was the original... He had the original I'm a Deadly... Was it a strain? Was it a brand? I think what it was, was a brand. It, it was a brand. Mm -hmm. So... Let's start at the beginning. There was let's this, it. come sit here on my lap, all you little stoners, hey? Let's, let's, uh, let's lick it together. How does the tune go? When people zolt, they put, <laughs> put their uh, saliva on, on the paper. paper. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that thing made number one. So come, let's put some saliva on the paper on my knee, Oaks. So back in the day, we're talking like 10, 20, maybe even 30 years. Probably 20 years. There was this know. local brand, Am I Deadly? And I think it even maybe had a scorpion. Mm, so yeah. every once in a while I would say the I'm a deadly, the I'm a deadly. And then about five years ago I became aware of a local brand, also lovely people, I'm a deadly seeds. And it turns out that these guys were inspired by that OG vibe. So I know that in the history there was a little bit of beef, but I think everyone sorted it out in the end. Mm, okay. But it turns so. out this oak from all those years ago resurfaced. Yes. And many of you probably met him at the Cannabis Expo. He's been was to Mark. every expo. Mark, Mark, Mark yeah. Peter Nutia. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and he had the cannabis. He had the, the original little cannabinoid easy quick fix test. The Humboldt yes. mass spec. CBD, dude. THC thing. What whatever. was it? You got? You blew his mind, didn't you, Dan, with the, the results on one of your, your <laughs> tests? Is that the same guy? Yeah. 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 No, it was some of that THC, the diamonds that we took them to him in... At one of the expos, it was yes. pretty cool. That machine was fucking awesome. Wasn't it the Durban Expo? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yes. that's where I last saw him. Now, and he Durban got Expo. involved. We had a, um, a breakfast run once, the cannabis breakfast run. I remember that one, yeah. And we were collecting food and blankets yeah. and things. We stopped off at the Melville um, Green Market and then we went off to Green Sash. And Mark was part of that crew. He was in with everywhere that he could in the community. He was. He just he became part of the family so fast. Very quick, yeah. I think it was all, what I think it was it was a product of what we've all been going through. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people who've been around so long and suddenly we're just breaking through this crust and connecting as things have become more sort of socially acceptable and there's now all this interest in things many of us and him had done for years. But uh, like many of you, how I most I met him before once, but how I most remember this oak was like Dan saying, there at every expo and most big events, there'd be this oak with this pop-up fucking mass spectrometer. Say, Authentics apparently was uh, the name. What, can, I think it's Canometrics and it was the Sage analysis <laughs> thing. And Dan took the record on this thing with like a 70% THC. Mm -hmm. But this dude would pull up this thing and you're just pulling your butt and this oak would smash out tests, smash out tests. And it would be like a circus ring. There'd be like one layer and then two layers and three layers of people. He always drew a crowd. Mm. And he's the sort of oak, if you met him, you would remember meeting him. Definitely. So I'm sure may, many of you will have met this guy as well. Oh, no, he's been part of the underground in various forms since the late 90s. I remember, yeah, I remember big time yeah. Clubland. He had and a big what, heart and unfortunately it was his heart that let him down in the end. He passed away from a heart attack. Was it on Monday? Is that what Monday? it was? But fuck, he's like, he, he, he was always... He was he young. Ten years yeah. younger than me, at least. I would say oh, late forties, you know? early fifties. I don't know. There you go. No, I reckon it was. He had some. Uh, he looked like he had some happy miles on the clock. I think he got gang smileage out of life. Yeah. Oh no, he looked like um, he lived life to the full. He, in those days, when he was like probably late twenties, coming up for thirty, perhaps in and around those days, um, yeah. going large, yeah. really large. All of us, though. I mean, it was fun. <laughs> so Mark, so, you will be missed. Bro. Yeah, you man. will absolutely be missed. As soon as we're allowed out into the outside and we can do expos again, it's going to be a big hole. Well, yeah. hey, look, there's no more CBD fucking expo. There's no more expo. Expos mm. are you. If the food chain now is where are you going to get your CBD from? Those guys need licenses and shit, and that's going to take a while to grow to get put through Sapra for the next five years to get a GMP on it and blah blah and get it out into the. So what is the Expo, expo going to do? I it's, don't, a, it's the CBD Olympics. I got a mail from them saying that they got plans again because it was postponed. And it must have been about a week or two ago I got a mail saying, and they're saying, guys, tentative, tentative, but 
They plan on going ahead in some form. They've got some. Uh, they're working on some software to do some sort of webinar thing as well. They, they're they're going to go online with something as well. Fuck webinar. There's a word. Have you ever seen so many fucking webinars in your <laughs> life? <laughs> yeah, every, everyone's still like an expert in the C word, where to score smokes for under a grand, and how <laughs> yeah. to use Zoom. <laughs> True story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>